Hello, my name is Jonathan Biznet, and in this video I'm going to uh, show you both a full wave bridge rectifier as well as a full wave voltage doubler, both of them using a transformer and discrete diodes rather than an actual bridge rectifier. So what you'll see here, you, this is the transformer and then we feed back through this uh, brown cable here. It's coming in off a power strip but it's basically uh, uh, out of the wall. So we have 110 coming in on this side. Now about, oh, ah, I don't know, I'm, I'm showing on the scope here uh, once it's going through things uh, we ultimately are getting about 3 volts RMS. Uh, the scope here shows you I've got my uh, rectified waveform coming in. Now in this case I've done nothing other than to simply rectify it so that it's all on the positive side of things. Um, and if we look down here you'll see uh, the bridge rectifier so uh, one of the excuse me one of the transformer inputs coming in here at the top the other transformer inputs coming out at the bottom and then I'm taking uh, my positive side off of uh, the right hand side here and the ground off the left. Now what you what I'll actually see is about it's showing about three volts across that thing which makes to some degree makes a certain amount of sense the transformer is uh, uh, says it outputs about six volts if you take six volts uh, and you take uh, 0.707 to get the RMS value you're looking about 4.2 if you consider the couple of diode drops uh, you're looking at three volts which is about what we're seeing here uh, so, looking at that, you can kind of see what we've got there. Now, if I go in and add a capacitor to this thing, let's see, try to do this with uh, while holding the camera here. I go in here, and what I'm doing is hooking up a capacitor across the output. So you'll see it sitting right here. Uh, and make sure you get the orientation of this correct. It's In this case, it's a polarized cap. Do not put it in backwards. Uh, what you'll notice then when we look at the scope is we actually have DC voltage. In this, clay, in this case, uh, about 5 volts, as you can see. Uh, the gradients working off of this point here, and the gradients are about a volt, so... We have close to five. It's a little bit less. It's four point something. In fact, if I come over here and look at the uh, at the DMM, we're looking at four point eight six volts. So that is that is our full wave bridge rectifier. So let's take a look at this circuit here. Here you see our one hundred and ten volts at sixty hertz coming into the transformer, and on the other side of the transformer, on the secondary side, we're looking at about six volts out. When this is the more positive point, you'll see it come in here through this diode, down, cross the cap, plus to minus, up this side, through this diode, and back to the coil. The other two, basically this diode and this diode, are non-conducting during that phase. When it flips the other way and this becomes more positive, you're looking at it coming through here, coming across this diode this time, down here, across the cap, plus to minus, coming back up here, going out through this diode, and back to the coil. So basically, in one phase, these two are conducting, in the other phase, these two are conducting. But basically, always, our voltage, or our, our current, is traveling plus to minus across this diode. And then you're basically looking at ground and V out. Now, in this, in this particular case, it's a nice, perfect, uh, well, pretty close to 5 volts, 4.8 volts, because there's really no load attached, so this, this capacitor never discharges. Once it charges up to the max, it sits there. So we're looking at 4.8 volts. If I were to put a load on here, then this would drop a little bit, and this capacitor would attempt to do its best to get rid of any ripple that might be uh, caused uh, by this circuit. But for the most part, it looks, it, this is using it in its most optimal sense, and we're not actually dissipating anything. It's all sitting in the cap as potential. All right, so let's take a look at the voltage doubler. All right, so in this configuration, <clears throat> I'll show you the schematic here in a minute, but you'll see we have a couple of caps in the middle. These are what actually 
pull off the trick of uh, giving us uh, the doubling. Uh, and what we're looking at, similar setup, uh, here was the full wave we used before. This one's a little different. It only uses two diodes. Uh, and you'll notice on our scope here now, I have uh, changed some of the settings. Here's our base point, and now our uh, gradient is our gradients are two volts. So we're two, four, six, eight. We're just a little over ten volts, whereas before we were right around five volts in the rectified form. So we've gone up literally double, um, and you'll even see that here on the meter. Uh, let's see. So you'll see we're at ten point four six. So we've, uh, we've actually slightly more than doubled, but then again, I don't have a load on this. Uh, so those caps are basically charging up and holding the charge. So let's take a look at uh, the circuit for this one now. And here's what we're looking at in this case. Uh, grab this here. All right, so same basic setup here. We have our 110 volts coming in to our transformer and out of our transformer. Now what we have is a pair of diodes with a couple of caps and our V out. So when this is po when this is the more positive side of the cycle, it's going to come through this diode, charge this cap and go back through the coil. This diode will actually be reverse biased and be off. When this is the more positive point, it's going to come through, uh, come here, go through this cap, through this diode, and back through the coil this way. But in each case, we're charging these caps plus to minus, plus to minus, and half a cycle's charging this one, half a cycle's charging this one, and you get the voltage across the combination, which is why this is a doubled circuit and also a full wave bridge rectifier, a full wave rectifier, not a bridge rectifier, a full wave rectifier. So you're looking at double the output. Now if I put a load on each of these it's going to drop a little bit, but nonetheless you're going to see double the voltage out of this guy that you saw out of the original circuit here. So that's basically how these two circuits work. Uh, I hope you found this interesting. I will put the uh, schematic uh, I will show it in the uh, description of the video so you can go take a look at it if you're interested. Thank you for watching.